Hey everybody, Donnie B. Learn Pro Recording. You know, the site that not only shows you how to do some recording, but how to get paid for it. Yeah, that's right. Hashtag quit your day job. Hey, you know what? While we're talking about that, I got something free for you. Go grab my studio growth formula. This is going to help you build, grow, and scale your studio into something that could possibly sustain you and overtake your day job and hashtag quit your day job. This is an awesome way to make our money and we just love it and it's a lifestyle not a job. This is awesome. So, hey, come on over. I'll help you out. Let me get you started. Let me show you what we need to do to get going. Hey, you know what? Um, One of my in-house students this week asked me, hey, man, what is this thing I see on Pro Tools called Windows Configurations? That is a really good question, sir, and I'm going to answer it for you right now, and I'm going to give it to you guys, too. So, if you've ever wondered, what does this thing do, and why do I need it, and do I need it, and what's it for, and why? how can I use it, I know we've all clicked on it goes, ah, I don't know what this is, but anyway, I'm going to show you some cool stuff that you can do with window configurations. And if you're ready to go look at that, let's get going. Hey, Bobby, roll that intro. Bobby's a new guy. He's going to get it in a second. <laughs> go. Okay, guys, here we are. Uh, this, is a, this is a fairly large Pro Tools session. Not that big, but I mean, we've, you know, we, we've worked on them. Everybody's worked on bigger. So, but this one's kind of big, so it, it kind of makes, um, makes sense to uh, create memory locations to get around real quick. Like, let's say you want to just look at your drums. I've got a memory location here, which is just my drums. Now I can just go see my drums. And that's easy to do. We've, we've talked about that before, where you guys go uh, drop a memory location and don't drop a marker. Just say none, give that a name, whatever, and then you can bring that back to that thing. Okay, well, let me show you something. You can coincide this with window configurations. What window configurations are? They're down here. What window configurations are, if you go click on them, like I've got my guitars with my, con with my compressor. So in this window configuration, I only want to see my guitar with my compressor. Okay, I have a stem mix with effects already on it my background vocals with the effects already on it, okay? But what I want to see is not this. I want to see my full mix. Let me bring the memory locations back up. I want to see my full mix, but when I go to my drums, I might want to see a, a plug-in that's open. When I go to my guitar, all right, like I've got my guitars with my compressor here, right? Every time I go to my guitars with my compressor memory location, it opens up my guitars with this compressor on there that I seem to always go to when I bring up my guitars, okay? The problem is when I go back to my full mix, this window configuration is still open. So what I need to do here is create a window configuration, go to new configuration, and create one that says full, maybe full mix clean, okay? So that way when we come back, there's, no, there's gonna be no edit. It's gonna clean up that. So there's the window configuration I just made. So now I'm going to edit the full mix, or I can even make a new one. Either way, let's just edit this one, the one with full mix, and let's add a window configuration to it, and let's add the configuration I just made with full mix clean. Okay, so what we do now is when we go to that guitar with the compressor, okay, or we go to the lead guitar, or let's go to the guitar with the compressor, and then we go back to full mix, it's also going to be clean. It's going to put away that plug-in. So we go to the gang vocals, it, there's nothing on that. We go to the lead vocals, background vocals, nothing on that. Guitar, drums, and bass, nothing on that. Drums, nothing on that. So we can go back to the full mix, and it'll get clean, okay? So there's the, let's say I have one, I want to have these open, right? So when I go back to the full mix clean, it's going to clean that up. Got that? All right, so let's make that that let's make that, um, that memory location with the gang vocals, or which one was it? It was the, the background vocals. So let's make a new, let's go to just the background vocals, okay? We'll just go grab all the backgrounds, and we'll just show those with their subgroup. All right, so let's just go up here. We'll make a new memory location. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll just go hide or show only selected tracks. So all we want to see are these tracks. Let's make them a little bit bigger so we can see them. All right, let's go ahead and open up this thing. So this thing's open, and open up this, which is uh, the plugins inactive, so it doesn't matter. Um, we don't really need that. This is just sending to the reverb. So we'll have that open when we get there, okay? 
So let's even make these bigger. Just fill up the go ahead and fill up the whole uh, the whole the whole window there. All right, so let's save this as a as a memory location. You hit enter and call this what was this? This was the BG Vokes um whatever. Let's just call it the BG Vokes. So what we'll do here is go here with the BG Vokes and we'll, we'll use that window configuration that I've already set up. Okay? So next time we go to the full mix, it's going to show us the full mix clean. We'll go back to the background vocals. It's going to show us everything we want to have on the background vocals. The plugins that we want to open, the sends and the sends, basically the sends and returns there. Okay. Go back to the full mix. It's clean. Look at our drums. They're clean. Drums and bass. There you go. This makes things really easy for jumping around and 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 you know getting around your mix real quick and having the windows open that you want want open. So in order to make a window configuration, all you do is go to window configuration, new configuration, call it whatever you want. Then when you go make your memory location, you can choose your window configuration. And then there's your list of window configurations that you just made. Really simple, real quick way to get around Pro Tools in a larger session. You know what? Hopefully this has helped you guys learn something and grow something and wonder what I always wondered what that window configuration thing was. But now we know. And this is one way that you can use it. One way that you can use it to, to make your mixes go faster, get bigger, get better. That's the thing, man. You got to get better, get get more efficient, and, 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 you know, just be faster and ready to go. This will help you mix a little bit more efficiently, get to your mixing more efficiently, as well as getting around your mix more efficiently and faster and better and cleaner. And it's a lot more fun because then you can get right to stuff without having to go click, click, click everything. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for hanging out with me on this Sunday afternoon, and I appreciate you. And we will see you on the blog post on Wednesday. Happy mixing, everybody. Johnny B, I am out. Peace.